Hi everyone, it's uh, December 4th. We're here at Kushala Yoga, just a, an amazingly beautiful Friday afternoon. Um, so it's day four of the challenge. Uh, I just want to kind of bring us back to day one of the challenge. And for those of you, and there were many of you uh, that joined the, um, the challenge class, we had almost 100 people on Zoom and we had about 50 people that had streamed the class on that day. And maybe there's some that have uh, since done it. But that was an amazing experience. Thank you so much for, uh, for uh, taking the time out of your day to join us. We're looking forward to another big group when uh, we have our, our challenge wrap up class. But it was, it was amazing and special thanks obviously to, uh, to Nicole and to Shelly and also my amazing wife who set all of this stuff up um, and none of this would happen without her. So thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's been, it's been quite the week. It's been really exhilarating, um, never having done this before. Um, and also, we are doing the challenge ourselves, and so we're, we're doing our own practice in addition to the uh, teaching, too. So I've got to say, I'm feeling a little bit sore, but good. And you, you may be feeling kind of similarly, so your body, you know, Kind of begging for attention in interesting ways so mix up your practice you know some days doing some therapeutic and yin restorative some days maybe you're more dynamic you know just allow yourself to go with the ebbs and the flows and to remember this first week our um, focus is on your intentions your reasons for doing this and as we move a few days into the challenge it's really worth revisiting what does this practice do in my life? Um, how does it relate to the aspects of my life? What parts of my life are asking for something like this? Some support and some mindfulness. So um, we hope that you're enjoying the journey. And next week we have a partner assisted yoga stretching class for you um, so that partner can be a family member it can well someone in your bubble obviously um, and later that week movement mantra meditation which is a blended class of physical and esoteric practices so we're looking forward to both of those and hope you can join us then okay we'll check in soon Hi everyone, uh, it's Chris from Kushi Log. <laughs> I can't even get that out right. <laughs> Got a mouthful of marbles here, all right. <laughs> okay.